is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro finally and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest Evolution X ROM. Well this is not quite a 2020 build and here I have the 29th December 2019 build flashed and this is kind of the latest build as of right now. The version is 3.5 for this Evolution X and it has kind of this Christmas tint up here if you're noticing closely and the security patch is of december 5th 2019 and the stock kernel here is extended kernel let me go back from here and i have flashed it with the latest orange fox recovery and i will give the link for that in the description box below so no need to worry about that the stock camera here is the miui camera so that's great the portrait mode the videos and stuff should be working fine here and you can change the settings and stuff from here of course we have the 1080p 30, 60 options and even the 4K 30fps option is present for this MIUI camera. So everything pretty much works fine with this MIUI camera. And I have also installed a Google camera. Let me show you. I'll link it below in the description. This Google camera should be working fine, but it is quite slower. Yes, that I can agree with. The night sight and stuff should be working fine too with this Google camera. Let me go back. I have installed this Google camera separately by the way and the MIUI camera is present by default here. And here we have the battery settings and this is how it looks like. Well, my device is quite old so I am getting about 5 hours of screen on time with this ROM. I do not have a SIM card in it yet so I am using it like normally. And with the display settings and stuff you get the night light and in the live display you will get the color calibration and stuff. And we have also this styles and wallpapers option and also you do get the live wallpapers by default here and the dark theme you do get here and it works fine no issues with the dark theme and we have the lock screen display from here you can use like always on display and stuff but i don't know why you would use it on an ips display we have the double tap to wake and stuff let me show you and double tap to wake and sleep as well is working fine here in this room as you just saw and the accent colors features are there you get bunch of accent colors as you can see even like this one all right so you get like lot of accent colors as you can see from the screen and headline and body fonts are present too up here and the icon shapes and stuff is there Volte calling and stuff should be working fine here but let me tell you that like there is no call recording option at least by default on the stock dialer we have the sound settings then and here you do not get any like me audio direct here like in the sound settings but they are present i'll show you later on and ring and notification etc volume kind of stuff you can enable it like this and you don't have to expand it if you enable all of this so that's great let me go back from here from the sound settings we have a xiaomi part settings here if you go over here you can control the strength of the vibrator motor i guess and we also have the display color calibration like the display settings here and we have a xiaomi dose feature then you get the thermal settings for like you can choose it to be balanced performance battery or gaming and you can like choose it as you like it and we also have a extreme battery settings here too if you need that and also we have the me sound enhancer or the audio direct inside this xiaomi parts and you can see we have the youth edition and stuff and the sound put via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is pretty great you also have a preset for this me audio direct and in the evolution settings you will get all the customizations which i'll show you later on but inside system we do have a system updater you can check for updates this is just the latest build it's showing up here i don't know why and in the gesture settings we have the system navigation gestures like of android 10 you can also use two or three button navigation and you can even change the settings and stuff of this and show an animated arrow for back gesture is enabled you can disable it if you want to let me go back and in the evolution x settings we have the status bar option then we have the rounded corners well evolution x is a king of customizations if you guys already did not know that now you know in the clock options we have the clock style changing option to like center and stuff you can do that and then we have the am pm style at small and normal then you can enable the show seconds option if you need that and you can even change the status bar clock color from here as you can see if i tap over here clock color changes to red as you can see we can change the like clock font style too like you can choose any of them like this we have a lot of fonts to like change from as you can see a lot of font options are present all over the ui we have the date option then the like date position and stuff even date style you can change it even the date format so that's great and in the carrier label we have some carrier label kind of customization in the status bar item we have headset bluetooth etc icons and for the vault icon yes you can change from these many 
like Valdi icons, we have the like normal VO icon or the older Valdi icon, then the OxygenOS kind of Valdi icon, and then you get the HD and Wallet and Asus as Valdi icon. So that's great. And the network activity monitor is there. Then we have the battery style, and you can change it to like dotted circle or filled circle if you need that. Then you can change the battery percentage position to like next to the icon or inside the icon and battery percentage when charging is there. Let me go back from here inside notifications we have the heads up disabling option then we have the notification light or the battery charging LED and edge lighting option is there too if you are using the ambient display you can change the edge lighting notification colors. And we have the force close notification also we have the ambient display brightness if you need that. Blink flashlight like whenever you receive a call is there like MIUI and in call vibration options are here in the notifications panel. In the quick settings we can disable the like quick setting when locked and stuff then vibrate on touch toggle option is there then quick pull down option is there you can choose it to be right left or always and there is a header image option battery percentage option for the header and we have the brightness slider options and stuff you can change the quick setting opacity and column and row number customizations are there and even quick setting footer text option is there if you need that in the power menu we have the advanced reboot option so this is great that like we can directly reboot to recovery and stuff so not a problem here with that inside gestures we get the AOSP gestures again then we have the screenshot like three finger screenshot gesture is there brightness control from the status bar itself is there and as you can see this is a really helpful feature I would say and I really use it on a daily basis and screen of power and torch I tested it it does work double tap to sleep on the lock screen and status bar as well is there inside lock screen here things get a lot interesting because we have the always unlock with the fingerprint option well this is supposedly one of my most favorite feature and I can like reboot the device and even then I don't have to enter my pin I can touch the fingerprint scanner and it gets unlocked talking about unlocking let me show you the unlocking speed over here on this ROM and talking about that, I would say the unlocking speed over here on this ROM it is like pretty fast. As you can see, it unlocks the device almost right away and no issues whatsoever that I could find with the unlocking speed of the Fingerprint Scanner. And lock screens like shortcuts and stuff is there. Then you can change the lock screen fonts and stuff. We have again bunch of options and you can even increase the font size of the clock, date and owner info. Charging info is there, charging animation is there, so that's great. We have also the music visualizer. So let me go back to the hardware buttons. We have the invert layout. If you're using the two or three button navigation, this would help. Now in the animations, you can change the screen of animation to CRT or scale or default. So that's great. And you can even control the whole UI animation from here. So that is a good thing. And in the MISC, it takes a little bit of time to go into MISC and we have the gaming mode and wake up on charge disabling option is here. You can set the default USB configuration to file transfer. Let me go back and we have the dashboard customization and stuff. So that's it for the customizations in this UI. Now let me show you the app open up speeds and the RAM management here. Let's open file explorer, Facebook, Twitter, Play Store, YouTube and Instagram. So if you're noticing the animations and stuff, let's open all the apps from memory again. YouTube, Instagram. Well, it was loading kind of. Let's open all the apps from memory. So as you can see, all the apps does stay in memory and you can switch between apps just like this and it is quite fluid. Even the animations looks pretty fine in my opinion. So I would say this is quite a great ROM and I have also tested the IR Bluster present on this device with the LED RGB remote app. It does work. You also get this recorder app by default and it does transcript the audio pretty fine as you can see. This is a Pixel 4 feature so that is great that it is working like without any headphones and stuff. So let me go back. The Google Pay should be working fine over here in this ROM right out of the box. You don't need to worry about it. And the DRM info over here shows as level 3. So you cannot stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p because on the Redmi Note 5 Pro it is like even in MIUI you cannot stream 1080p videos. So yeah, I think this is fine. And like widgets and stuff on the stock launcher works fine. To the left we get the Google Now cards. And if you swipe down you get the quick settings panel and stuff. And this is how the quick setting panel looks like. You have the disabling heads up option, dark theme option. You can like add bunch of toggles over here. As you can see, lot of modes present up here. Now let me open PUBG and show you guys the gaming performance. 
So in PUBG graphic settings you get smooth, balanced and HD and then high like in all the settings as you can see we have the HD and high, balanced and high and smooth and high settings. So I'm gonna play on the HD and high settings. Here is the entry score of this ROM. So that was it guys for this Evolution X ROM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and I would say like if you don't like Pixel Experience ROM because of its limited customizations and very stock Android experience, if you want a little bit of customizations on top, this ROM could be a very good option instead of the Pixel Experience ROM because this has the customizations, it has the stock Android feeling and it has almost everything like always unlock with a premium scanner. Then we have this like brightness control from the status bar and stuff. Google Pay works right out of the box too. I would say this is a pretty great choice for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. If you want to flash it on the Redmi Note 5 Pro right now, you can definitely go ahead and do that. And I would recommend you guys using the latest Orange Fox recovery and you just flash the ROM. You don't even need any GApp file. And of course you don't need any if keep disabler or something because this is a Redmi Note 5 Pro, you don't need those. The storage already gets in, like decrypted if you format the storage once when you are coming from MIUI. So if you are on a different ROM, just wipe cache config system data and then just flash the ROM file and reboot that would help. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.